Hello fellow travelers and welcome back to our Biggs adventure. My name is Cynthia and today we're going to do what's on my crochet hook. It's Thursday crochet. Last week I posed a question on my video. Would you prefer a red stripe or a navy stripe on the scarf that I was working on for the homeless? That's scarf number three. So here it is. <laughs> it's still a work in progress, obviously. I did not have a lot of time to crochet this week, but look how pretty that is. It reminds me of like the 1970s sweat socks. Is anybody feeling that vibe with the stripes? Mm, I, I still love that aesthetic, still love it. So here we have it. We've got the gray, we've got the navy, the red, the little gray stripe, in, and now I'll put three rows of the gray over here, and then it'll be done. And I think I can probably get that done this weekend. I did not make a granny square this week. Let me tell you what, we're having an insane busy season at work. So between that and my little vacation with Mr. Biggs, I didn't have a lot of time to crochet, but that's all right. I, I feel fine about it. I like this scarf, I'm, I'm digging it. I think that you guys with your both uh, votes or can't decide, I think you were spot on. So nice and this is a nice, gonna be a nice wide warm scarf for somebody to wrap up in if it's cold when it's cold up in the Appalachian Mountains so Sandy this one's headed your way for bridge and beyond I'll put a link to bridge and beyond blog in my description down below also a link to her Facebook page if you want to give them a like Sandy's awesome and she is a true warrior in the fight to keep the homeless warm on a bit more somber note my friend Michaela's husband was in a accident. He is a UPS driver and she's a fellow YouTuber. I'll put a link to her channel down below. So I'm gonna make a UPS scarf. I will remain in prayer, obviously, during making this scarf. This is a dark, dark, dark brown. Then we have kind of a chestnut brown and of course the yellow. I'll put a ye little yellow stripe in there to represent the UPS colors horrifying and the fact that she has four very young children and she's such a sweetheart so loving and sweet and her son Jet is phenomenally funny and a very cute little boy so I will be making this in honor of Michaela and Hector so that's pretty much my main thing as far as scarves go I I take events throughout the year and make scarves based on what's happened in my life. One thing that's going around totally viral on all the crochet channels right now is 10 yarny things. And that is a tag that other YouTubers are giving each other and crochet rocks tagged anyone who wanted to participate. Here I am. So 10 yarny things. First up, favorite color of yarn. I don't have a favorite color of yarn. I have three favorite colors. I like the combination of yellow, gray, and white, or like a light tan. I'm gonna put a picture of my Better Together Crochet Afghan right here. So that y'all can check that out. That literally is my favorite project ever. Favorite weight. I like a four ply acrylic red heart yarn. Style of yarn, that's my favorite, yeah. Favorite fiber, acrylic or cotton. That's my main jam. I'll use cotton to make dishcloths, but my main jam is definitely the acrylic. Brand you can easily get in your country, Red Heart Super Saver or Karen One Pound. Also love Karen One Pound, huge fan of that yarn. Brand you can't get easily. Well, in the US, we can pretty much get anything easily if you wanna order it online. I do have some specialty yarns in my stash, but eh, I, I never dare to use them. I don't know, I should just jump in. Favorite yarn store online? I don't really buy yarn online. I like to touch it, I really do. Favorite brick and mortar store? Gotta go with Joann's. They have the best coupons, legit. The best coupons, they always suck me in. I love their brand, Big Twist. They have the best deals on the Karen One Pound and they have every color of Red Heart Super Saver that's available. 
love me some Joann's. I also like to buy yarn at yard sales and thrift stores. It seems like when someone's done with yarn for a project or whatever, they throw it in a yard sale, 25 cents. I whip it up, make it into a scarf for the homeless. I love yard sale yarn. Do you keep scrap yarn? Girl or gentleman, if you're watching. I have so much scrap yarn. I have a giant bag of scrap yarn, which I'm gonna link my playlist of all my granny squares that I've been making out of my scrap yarn right here. Favorite thing to crochet or knit? My favorite thing to crochet is scarves for the homeless. It is, it's deep for me. I, I literally put a prayer in every stitch. I set an intention and weave it into every single stitch when I'm making a scarf for the homeless. Last thing that you would crochet and what yarn? Wow. If I could never crochet ever again, and it was the last thing that I was ever gonna do, I would make another better together afghan. That pattern is so beautiful and intricate and it works up so pretty. I, I would definitely do that again. I don't know if my fingers could hold on that long. That was, it was a brain tease. I loved it. The crochet crowd, I'll link a video down below. Mikey is great. I love him. I love his personality. I love how he teaches. Yeah, I would make the better together. What yarn? Red Heart Super Saver, gotta do it. Or the Karen One Pound. So there we have it. I can show you my outfit for the day if you wanna do that. Hang around for another minute. I got a minute and a half. Outfit of the day. Got some cute little hoop earrings that I got when I was in St. Augustine with my husband. And I have my YM necklace. This is YM and it's got a little flower on the back. It's my birth flower. I got this shirt at a yard sale for $1. And it is a super high-end shirt. I, I don't know the brand, but um, the lady that wore it before me was a teacher and she was retiring and she had the same body style as me and I got like four shirts for a dollar each at her yard sale and they are expensive so I look good this is my favorite shirt um just some gray slacks I've literally had these gray slacks probably for 10 years and then I don't have any shoes on yet but I'll probably wear my purple shoes just because I am of the opinion that if life gives you the opportunity to wear purple shoes, you should definitely do that. I kind of have my standard hairstyle today. I put the big fat braid in here and just give it some curl. Well, that's pretty much what that looks like. Thanks for stopping in for another episode of What's on My Crochet Hook. I really appreciate your support. If you'd like to leave me a comment down below, please do so. And remember everybody, life is an adventure. So enjoy your journey. Bye-bye.